And I look forward to the road ahead. He was arguably the biggest winner of the U.S. midterm election in an otherwise lackluster showing for Republicans. And now Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who trounced his Democratic rival to win re-election, has cemented himself as the Republican Party's top rising star. But what comes next is trickier, says Reuters political correspondent James Oliphant. Now the big question is, does DeSantis have the guts to get into the ring with Donald Trump and challenge him for the 2024 presidential nomination? It would, by the looks of it, be the political fight of his life, with former President Donald Trump, just days before the midterms, already targeting the Florida governor, making his usual braggadocious claims and resorting to name-calling. We're winning big, big, big in the Republican Party for the nomination like nobody's ever seen before. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10 percent. But Trump is increasingly viewed as toxic by some Republicans who blame him for the party's underwhelming performance in the midterms. Still, Trump is expected to announce his candidacy next week. Part of the reason he's announcing so early is to try to ward off a bid by DeSantis or somebody else. Trump would love to have a clear pathway to the nomination. Um, but, uh, you know, the results in this midterm, they, they can only embolden DeSantis and make people who th are thinking of taking Trump on uh, make them feel a little more confident about um, their ability to beat Trump. All it takes is, you know, for Trump to show a little, uh, you know, little blood and then the sharks are in the water. So, um, and DeSantis, I think, is that shark. Trump also faces a dizzying array of legal headaches, including his efforts to overturn the 2020 election and his removal of classified documents from the White House. But he could still be the favorite in a primary matchup against DeSantis or any other Republican, as he remains intensely popular with his party's base and is sitting on a massive campaign war chest that will only grow larger. DeSantis, however, has also proven to be a dynamic fundraiser, smashing prior gubernatorial records by raising more than $200 million since early 2021. And he is especially popular with conservatives for taking the lead in culture war issues concerning race and gender, getting into a well-publicized spat with the Walt Disney Company over his support of the controversial law nicknamed Don't Say Gay by Opponents that prohibits the teaching of gender identity concepts to young children. His age could also be a plus. At 44, DeSantis is more than three decades younger than the 76-year-old Trump and current President Joe Biden, who turns 80 on Sunday. Biden, who beat Trump in 2020, said he intends to run for re-election and will make a final decision by early next year. At a press conference this week, Biden was asked this. Who do you think would be the tougher competitor, Ron DeSantis or former President Trump? And how is that factoring into your decision? It'll be fun watching them take on each other. <laughs>